I'm here today with Eugene Vactrelman, the number one Vactrel mind in the country. The world, actually. The world. Um, so, Eugene, your last name, Vactrelman, is that, that, that's your real name? It is my real name, but I was not born with it. I mean, okay, listen. I love Vactrels. I mean, okay, if you look here, all these, these are all make noise modules. All have Vactrels. We have the DPO, Rick's Mix, QMG, Optimix, LXD. It's interesting. And so you play all these? Of course. I, I play them and I cherish them. Okay, let's check this one out. QMG. Now, this is the top of the heat. Look at the design, the black face plate, the beautiful gold designs. You can hear it. Now, I'll just listen. Just listen for a moment. You can hear the ring. Yeah, I hear nothing. You just listen. Eugene, I'm not hearing anything. Well, you, you, you would hear it if it were plugged in. And what you would hear would be a sound like, bong. Uh-huh. And that's what you like. Bong. Yeah, uh-huh. And so what exactly about that is interesting? Bong. Like low pass gates? Yeah, yeah. What would you say if I told you Make Noise has a brand new low pass gate? The dual stereo gate. Two stereo low pass gates in one. Stereo low pass gate? Let's try it. I just. I can't believe it. It's waiting for. That's a Vactrel. Wow. But wait, there's more. The DXG does not even contain Vactrels. No, 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 no! Yes, that's right. The DXG is here. It's a dual stereo low pass gate and mixer. The DXG follows in the footsteps of the QMMG, Optimix, Rix Mix, Dynamix, and LXD. Unlike its predecessors, the DXG is specifically oriented around mixing stereo signals, making it an important addition to any system containing modules like XPO, QPOS, Morphogene, Mimeophone, any other stereo modules by Make Noise or others. As on all our low pass gate modules, the DXG's control parameter is used to set both the amplitude and the frequency content of the sound that passes through it. As the control parameter level increases, the sound gets both louder and brighter. As it decreases, the sound gets both quieter and softer or darker. Also, like other low-pass gates, the control parameter tends to open faster than it closes, imparting a subtle decay phase onto any envelope shape that is used to modulate it. Ever since Don Buco's original low-pass gate designs, synthesists have been taking advantage of these characteristics to evoke the natural sonics of struck and plucked acoustic instruments within an electronic music context. There are two primary differences between the DXG and other multi-channel low-pass gate mixers from Make Noise, such as the Optomix. First, all inputs and outputs are stereo. Each input set is normaled so that the left input can be used for a mono signal, sending a copy to both left and right outputs. The auxiliary inputs are also a stereo pair with mono normalization. Thus the DXG can be used as a simple three-channel stereo mixer with one or two of the channels additionally being used for dynamics control and note event generation. The aux inputs can be used to chain together larger mixes using additional DXG modules or XPAN, Optimix, Modimix, etc. Second, unlike the Optimix and others, the DXG's low-pass gate circuit does not use Vactrels. 
The wide variation in vacuole response would mean an incredible difficulty and expense in tuning multiple channels for stereo use. Instead, Tony has created a new vacuole free low pass gate circuit. The circuit is 100% analog and its response was arrived at after many months tailoring it to meet or exceed the expectations that have been set by all the vacuole low pass gates that Make Noise has created over the years. In the past, Make Noise produced the Dynamix module and the Dynamix circuit in Zero Coast, both of which are vectorless LPGs. However, the DXG is a completely new approach, which better implements the gentle single pole filtering of a low pass gate while also emulating the slow decay and memory of the vectoral based circuit. The DXG's layout will be familiar if you've used an Optimix, Modumix, Dynamix, or XPAN. Channels 1 and 2 each have their own section with stereo inputs, and there are stereo aux inputs and some outputs at the bottom. Patch your mono signal to just a left input or a stereo signal to left and right. The control input is used to control the amplitude and timbre of this signal as it comes out the sum. Patch a harmonically rich sound to the input and send a short exponential envelope to the control input to create a classic low pass gate ping sound. Channel 2 also has a set of individual outputs that can be used for parallel processing. The aux inputs bring signals in at nearly unity so that the DXG can easily be part of larger decentralized mixes. I particularly like to patch full stereo voice sources such as Morphogene to the aux input for easily mixing them with the traditionally gated VCOs and the other channels. Check out the Make Noise website for more info on the DXG, and stay tuned to our YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok channels for plenty more patch and sound examples. Thanks for watching, and happy patching.